Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number three. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 135 chapter 00, click on the link below the video. All right, we're on the sheet tab formatting. We've been talking about we had our intro to Excel and then formulas, but now we got to talk about formatting. Now I have the same four examples from our last video. Uh, we're going to do them again, but we're going to format them. So earnings for the month, we'll say 2000. Enter. Expenses, we'll say 1950. Enter. And now I'm going to create a formula. Equal sign is the first character. I'm going to get the cell with revenue or earnings for the month minus the expenses. And then I'm going to hit Enter. All right, now, there's two kinds of formatting. Stylistic formatting are things like colors, fonts, and borders. This is all stylistic formatting. So we'll do that first. I'm going to highlight this table. And uh, in Excel, you can click. But if you click and drag, you can highlight. All right, so now I'm going to come up to the home ribbon. And there's borders. And you can select all borders, for example. Now, I'm always going to add a color to the cell with the formula. So I'm going to come up here. And uh, if you don't see any colors you like here, you can say more colors. And then there's custom or standard. I always select like this green right here. I already had it in my drop down because I used it before. Now, I, I wouldn't necessarily do this. If this was a report I was going to print out, I would not add colors like this. However, if it was a template that I was using, I like to somehow um, distinguish between formula inputs and cells that have formulas, right? Because if you're looking at just looking at it, you're like, I don't know which one has a, a formula, right? You can click in the cell and look up in the formula bar. Those are numbers, uh, and that's a formula. But for templates that I use in my own work, I like to differentiate. And for this class, for learning, I'm going to basically 99% of the time have that color there to indicate to you that that is a format. All right, now that's stylistic formatting. What about number formatting? Number formatting is two places. You can find it. Now I have my ribbon up here kind of scrunched down. If I move, because my video uh, shot screen is small, if I take my cursor and click and drag over here, you can see what the number usually looks like. So I'll keep it like that just for a moment. There are, there's a built-in accounting. There's a percentage, which I'll show you why you should never use that one in just a moment. There is comma style, which is accounting without the dollar sign, increase and decrease decimals. We'll actually see all of these uh, in more detail next video, which is all about number formatting. There's also this drop down here. Now, I'm going to use currency. There's currency and accounting. Currency, we'll see, has a fixed dollar sign. I'm sorry, a floating dollar sign. And we'll see what that means in just a moment. Now I'm going to click. Now, wait a second. I didn't highlight all the cells. So now I'm going to click Escape. I'm going to highlight all these cells. Now notice there's one, two, three, four characters in the cell. If I come up here and apply currency, it looks like it puts a bunch of extra characters in the cell. Now. All of the cells got this formatting. And this is called a floating dollar sign. Because as the number expands and contracts, you can see the dollar sign floats and just touches the, the last number on the left. All right, so currency does that. In just a moment, we'll, see, we'll compare that to a fixed dollar sign, which accounting does. Now we want to notice something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It looks like there's nine characters typed into the cell. But look it up in the formula bar. So number formatting just makes it look like there's all that uh, those extra characters. But it's really not. So number formatting, this is the first time we've seen number formatting. It sometimes makes the thing that we're seeing with our eyes different than the thing in the cell. And we'll learn a lot more about that next video. All right. Now let's come down here and do some uh, formatting. Uh, let's first add our label, miscellaneous. Enter, enter, total, tab. And I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Alt equals, to um, add those up. And then it looks good. I'm checking it. The dancing ants are going around the right cells. Enter. I'm going to highlight, click in that cell. Actually, I'm going to highlight these two. 
um, and I'm going to add a different color, a fill color, to the column labels or field names or whatever you want to call those. All right, so I added that. Now that's dark, so now I'm going to come over to the font color and pick a light font color. Now I'm going to highlight the whole table, go up to borders. Oftentimes in uh, reports that summarize things at the bottom, uh, you can add a different set of borders to indicate that that's a calculation. So I'm going to highlight these two cells. And what I want is I want a, a dark line at the top and a double line at the bottom. So I'm going to highlight these, go up to the borders in the home ribbon, and select this one right here. Click over here. Now that's not quite what I want. And uh, I don't have the keyboard shortcut here, so I'm going to show you uh, the format cells dialog box. I actually have the keyboard shortcut listed in the, on the next video. But it's Control plus 1. Now, formatting cells is one of the most common tasks, right? You know, we always think about formulas, but formatting cells is almost as common as creating formulas. So there's a dialog box. Whoops. And this dialog box is called the Format Cells dialog box, and it has all of the options. Now, if I'm looking up here, I don't see exactly what I want, and that's because the ribbons don't have everything. And in fact, as we go forward in the class, next video, we'll see uh, the power of number formatting. And the ribbon, this just doesn't have everything. So this keyboard shortcut will come in handy. Now, I'm highlighting these two cells, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Control-1. And there's the Format Cells dialog box. Actually, And uh, here's the Number tab. There's Alignment, Font, Border, Fill, Protection. All right, number, we'll talk about a lot about that next time. Let's go to um, Alignment. No, we don't need to change any of that, but Border. Now, here's Border, because what I really want is a, a nice, thick, dark line up at the top. So Line, Color, and then Draw Your Line. So I'm going to click on this. Now, you can use your. Uh, border button here, any of these buttons to drop. But I always like to click on the line itself. Now I need a different line, so I come back over here, I click on the double line. Oh, and it, the double line's already there, so I don't need to click. I'm going to click OK. All right, so that is uh, nice there. It shows us. Now I'm going to do be consistent throughout all the workbooks that you get and all the videos. I'm going to add a color there. Now let's add some number formatting. Last time we used currency, right? And we saw the dollar sign was tight there. But accounting. And now we can go up and get accounting right there. Escape. This is accounting here. So I can click on that. The dollar sign's always on the outside. It's called uh, fixed on the outside. This is called floating. Now, one other thing about accounting, especially when you get into negative numbers, people like accounting because it will always line the decimals up perfectly. Right? And I have some notes over here for that. So that's our first experience with uh, accounting and currency. Now let's come down here. Uh, let's do our formula. This was, oh yeah, we have an allocation for the whole year of insurance. So we need to divide it by 12 to get our monthly expense. So I'm going to say that, equal sign, cell reference, divided by n, then 12. That is a number that never changes, so you're allowed to put it in the cell. Now be careful for those of you in the class that are going to take tests. Don't ever type numbers into formulas unless they're never going to change. In essence, one of the things, one of the most important things we're learning in this class is how to be efficient with Excel. Since Excel is the calculator of the world, we want to get, come from this class not only knowing the math, but efficient techniques for how to do Excel. All right, and of course, the beauty of this is next year the insurance calculation will change, right? Oh man, they're going to charge us jack it up to 3,900, but instantly we have our monthly calculation, uh, monthly expense calculated. All right, uh, let's highlight this. Let's do a simple border and then some uh, green there and highlight these two and uh, now I'm going to teach you the keyboard shortcut, and I think I have it listed right there. And this is a great one because, you know, we're going to be dealing with dollars so much. There is a keyboard shortcut for currency, Control-Shift-F4, Control-Shift-F4. All right, now let's come over here and, and uh, highlight this whole range here. 
We'll add a border. You know, you don't have to add borders. The working world is like split. There's people like me that always like to have the borders. There's other people that say, wait, wait a second, why do you think they put the lines there in the first place, right? So that's uh, your personal preference. All right, I'm going to come here. I'm going to build my formula. Oh, we're asking the question, is your monthly sales greater than or equal to the bonus hurdle equals arrow, arrow, greater than or equal to, remember, two symbols. And the way you can think about it, sometimes you may get confused. Does the equal sign come first or the greater than? Well, it equal sign always comes second. If you put it reverse, it does not work. All right, so we're comparing those two things. Did we get the bonus? Oh, bummer, didn't get the bonus. Now I'm going to highlight these and I want to show you something. The currency and the accounting will not affect words or logical values like this. So if I control shift 4 to apply currency, you can see it doesn't change that at all. All right, that's a little bit about stylistic and number formatting. In our next video, we're going to come back and very important, we're going to talk a lot about number formatting. All right, see you next video.